what's going on guys 2 crash 1 street 2 and freak and this video if you you know you probably get guess what it's about it's about the socom servers for ps2 coming down yes you heard correct now it was said and i saw somewhere i saw on multiple websites that on august 31st socom 1 2 3 and combine assault online capability will be gone. On August 31st, the online servers for SOCOM 1, 2, 3, and Combined Assault will be taken down. Come on, man. For real? There, all, all you SOCOM fans out there who've been playing since 1 and 2, uh, it's just, it's just, wow, like, wow, come on, like, how could this game that made you get so into the game, made you get so intense, it gave you that actual feeling of your heart beating every, every minute, uh, like, this game, and people that never start, never played the originals have no idea. They have no idea how we really feel. Um, I actually when I when I first saw it on Facebook on the Classic Socom Fridays Facebook page, and then I went to the realsocom.com and I'm like, wow. I read the article. I read the uh, yeah, yeah I guess you can call it the article, the the full story on the realsocom.com, and. I was reading it, and then after I got done reading it, and then I, I just looked at the date, and I, I just just comprehend everything I just read. I thought it over, and I actually started to cry. And I'm not kidding; I started to tear up a little bit. My eyes got watery, and I just was like, "Wow!" I, I was in shock, cause I've been playing SOCOM since I was seven years old, and now I'm 15. So I guess, I mean, this 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 game you're watching right now on the screen was a big part of my childhood. It's like if you have a dog and you grow up with it, it's gonna get, it's dying. It, it, it's saying it's gonna die in about you know at the end of the summer. It's gonna die August thirty first. So you know there you go. That's it. Thanks. Ah uh, yeah. Um. I mean. I mean it's a video game. I mean I've I've I I can honestly say I love this game and I mean I I really actually love this game and I cried over this game that's being taken away from me and a lot of people will think oh that's gay or or you know that's just that's just you're being a nerd or something like that it's not I mean I, I don't I don't care if that's what you think because in in deep in my heart and in my mind this game really changed me I mean not in not in a visible way I mean it, it really made it really was fun it's a game where it's no bullshit, nothing to complain about. Maybe a little lag here and there, but when it when it was at its best, when there was no cheaters or anything, this game was straight up. This game was always fun. This game was always intense. This game was always, uh, like this game was always just intense. I, I can't really say anything. It was it was always addictive. It was just the perfect formula. We all know this. It was just a perfect formula. I gotta, I'm not gonna say it. For some reason, they wanted the, the, over the years. It, it just straight away. It straight away somehow. Socom three went to vehicles and stuff. That wasn't a bad thing. I mean, it was a good idea. They just didn't. It was. I guess Socomers or just video game players weren't ready for that yet. I guess I don't know. Cause ever since Socom two, I mean ever since Socom three came out, it got worse and worse and worse. So it got worse and worse. And I'm, I'm, don't quote me on that though. I'm not sure if Socom 3 sold more than Socom 2. I think Socom 1 sold the most. I mean, it always been declining, but as far as all the vets know, I mean, this overall Socom 2 was the best. Uh, other people will say Socom 1, but in my opinion, Socom 2. Um, I mean, it was always just 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 a fun time. I mean, no, when you go on Call of Duty nowadays, or you go on go on. I mean, not really Battlefield. I mean, Call of Duty, though, all you have people doing is talking trash back and forth. Uh, you don't really get a bond with people in that game. Like, SOCOM 2 was the first game I actually made, I can say now, that I can say now, made me actually become friends with someone I never really met in person. It, it made me become friends in close friends. I mean, I guess I can say close. I mean, not really. Anyways, it made me become. It made me actually feel for the other person. You know, it actually made me f feel like they were one of my real friends. It actually, it actually had a great bond. It actually felt like you guys were friends, just chilling. I mean, the game, 
was just so intense, and it was so not, I mean, ah, I, I can't word it correctly, but, I mean, nowadays in Call of Duty, you go on, kids will talk trash, and then they go, oh, you mad, bro, or they'll just be a kid just yelling, playing music, it wasn't like that back then, I mean, before, I mean, part of that's also because you have the, uh, no open mic system you have where you have to hold in circle, or if you had the, was it run and talk option, which is L2, uh, but you never had that back then. I mean, you never had all this bullshit nowadays. I mean, I mean, back then, sorry. Nowadays, it's just a bunch of little kids crying and whining. It's, oh, oh I, I died. It was bullshit. I mean, in games nowadays, this was a game, I can say, there was basically almost no flaws except for the lag. And, and for its time, for its time, when this game came out, this game would have been like, whoa, these are amazing graphics. This is amazing everything. I mean, for, for when it came out in 2003, this game was a fucking shit. It it was like top of the line graphics back in the day. I mean, I mean, I believe, uh, and I still talk to people in my clan this day. I mean, one of my dude, one of the dudes in my clan, uh, we still play NHL together. I mean, we're playing NHL 12 now now to this day, and this is almost almost what 10 years later. We're playing. We're still we're still playing video games together. We, I mean, ever since Silicon 2, I'm still playing with these same people, and it's great. You actually build a bond, like. All right, so that that covers basically like the stuff everyone knows about, um, and occasionally you know, like you you would have your clan and you would have that clan you hated. You would have that clan you wanna wanna keep playing. You wanna have rematches. You and and they were great clan battles. And you hated the other clan. You kind of have respect for them, but you hate the other clan. I mean, and I can just go on and on and on and. On about the great things about this. What the fuck's that guy doing? Uh, I can just go on and on and on about the great thing, things. Sorry, that went on during this time. During during the course the course of time, this game was uh, available to play online. So I I was just in disbelief when I saw when I saw the article, and then I saw it was confirmed and it, it's all legit. So I, I don't even know and. It really makes no sense. Like we're not just saying this to get the game made. It really does make no sense why the game Silicon One, Two, or whatever was not remade. It really makes absolutely no sense at all. I mean, ever since Silicon Two, it gets worse and worse. I know. Let's revamp the series. Let's make it completely different. No, like just really, just maybe this is a sign of hey, you know they're shutting down the old servers because they're getting ready to put it on PSN or. PS3 or HD remake or something available in the PSN store, anything. But, but I mean that's just iffy. I mean I can't guarantee that's what's going on here. That's just I'm just winging it, just coming up with an idea. Um, I mean, and then the game took skill. Call of Duty, you know, you can camp, you get your kill streaks. There you go, you get a great game. I mean anybody, and there and there's a lot of really good players on Call of Duty. But so calm, you, you it actually took. Brain. I mean, it's Call of Duty. You know, bad food, all that shit. That can take some skill sometimes. That that sometimes, to an extent, it, it, it takes some smart man, smart man's game. It's a smart man's game. Thinking, but so calm. R li really, you had a. If you could, you could be an okay, average player, and do well. But if you, if you were just an average player and you really knew what people would do, knew how they think, knew the game, knew the routes, knew. Knew all the secrets. You you just you're just really smart. You can really you're really good at anticipating other move, uh, people's moves. You are going to be a, a great player. You're going to get t t you know 10 plus kills every game, or or you know get the win all the time. I mean, and and this game required teammates. I mean, let's get example again. Call of Duty. Um, that game. I'm going to admit. In my opinion, it's kills first, then win. That's what matters. Kills first, then win. Not the case, man. In this game, I mean, you, you, tr I mean, I, I wouldn't care. If clan battle, I, I don't care if I go two and seven. I mean, my clan must be like, yeah, where to help out, freak, or that's my, that's my, so common two name, like where to help out, dude, you idiot, or two and seven, you suck. But I'd be like, hey, I got that uh, bomb defusal in that one round, or uh, I risked my life for playing the bomb, we won the round or something like that. It really, really was a r the perfect example of the this, 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 this stealth game the stealth gameplay the team based game the the and also skill and you would have gun battles you would have you, you could run and gun 
which wasn't as tactical, but you can still run and gun and, and be effective. Or if you camp it a little bit, you can also be effective and, and there's and if you be tactical and you're smart and you know when to make the move at the right time, and you know where to throw the grenades at the beginning of the round, you know all that good stuff. And I'm not playing right here. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'll edit this out. Um, probably not. But if you really know what you're doing and you're and you're making the right moves and you're using a team you've been playing with for a while and you you just really get into the game, you, you really start to understand like wow this game's great, having a fun time. And, and it really is one of the best games, in my opinion, I'm not saying it is, it really could be one of the best games ever to be made. Ever. From for multiplayer perspective, not from single player. Um, I don't really have much more to say. I, I mean, this, I can keep rambling on for the next uh, couple minutes that this game is going to be going on for. Uh, I will say this, though. This game, we were raping them. We were doing great. And then all of a sudden, we started losing. We just started getting demolished. And we lose this game. That's all I know. And I haven't played for a while. Yeah, that's why. Uh, I don't know. Mm. But, yep. So, what else is there to talk about, guys? Let's just go back to the topic of the servers, alright? So, come one, two, three, combine assault. Nowadays, people, you know, they just remember. They, they use the memories. And there's still people that try to live in the past, or still people. Oh, teammate! I kill my teammate, and I, I think I might communicate with him. He just didn't hear me. Look at that guy! Fucking camper, assassin pro, Call of Duty sucks. Nah, anyways. So come one, two, three. My soul server's going down. That is, and I'm sure along with many other people. On the YouTube community, or just, or just who plays these games and had the fun I had, and had the times I had, and had the passion for the game I had, they they all feel the same way. They will feel the same way. They they probably tear up a little bit, or they got choked up a little bit. They're just like, or, or they made us, made it in cry. I mean, just just in any way, shape, or form, if you get upset over a video game being shut down or or just terminated, the online portion, and you're upset. It means something. It means that this game meant something to you. And this game really meant something to me. It made me tear up. It made me feel upset when I found out that I would no longer have the capability to play this game online August 31st. And it's a shame. It really is a shame. I, I can feel myself tearing up right now. I, I mean, I, I just can't believe it. So many nights. So many nights I've played this game. I mean, I, I don't really look... If, if the stats didn't reset on this game... I could tell you my total time and it'd be outrageous. It'd be it'd probably be over 100 days, possibly. You no, know, yeah, it'd be over 100 days, or very close. I mean, it's just insane. I mean, this this formula was addictive. It was it was consistent. It was strategic. It was the best. This game is the best, and it's gone. It's gonna be gone after August 31st. Starting what is it? September after August? Yep. All right. September 1st will be, I will know, will be different. I mean, I'll never, I will never have the chance after September, after August 31st to play this game I love. And I can actually say I fucking love this game. It sucks. I really, really sucks to have this taken away from me. This, th I spent a whole entire summer, and I mean, this, that's, that's the only bad thing about this game, is that it's too addictive sometimes, but hey, you enjoy it. Alright, but this game, I was so addicted to it, me and my clan would always play all night, and I, I would play all summer long. I'd play till 6 o'clock in the morning, go to sleep, wake up at 4, do it all over again. It was great. But, uh, what else can I say? It sucks. So, I don't have much more to talk about. So, uh, alright, sorry guys, uh, now I had to, uh, stop, I had to pause for a little bit this commentary. Uh, I'm coming back to it now. Um, I just wanted to restart. Uh, I just want to say that these clips, the video will have to be edited a little bit so I can uh, have some time on, have some, uh, what's it called? Uh, I, I can fit the video on YouTube. And right here, uh, at one point, you would have seen me doing a glitch. I was just uh, showing one of the people I had over my house one of the glitches. Uh, they didn't understand what I meant by like getting inside the buildings, like in walls and shit. So I see I jumped right out. But uh, I jumped right out of it, and I was just doing a glitch to see if it still worked. But of course it would. They don't. They don't patch anything on PS2. They can't do that. 
Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap everything up really quick because I gotta go. Uh, I actually have to do some school project with my group. But uh, this game, I'm wrap. I'm gonna sum everything up. This game was fucking great. It really touched me. It really, it really was a great. Oh, peanut. All right. It really was a great game. It, always intense. Always, always just a fucking. Uh, it, 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 it's just undescribable. It really was. I, I just, I can just keep repeating myself because it's just no words for it. I, I keep repeating myself because there's just no word for how great this game was. I, I, I mean, it made you want to keep coming back. It made you want to keep playing. It made you want to say, "All right, one more, one more, one more, one more." always intense, always fun, and the community, the community made it even more enjoyable, the, you never, you never had so many assholes on the game, like you do in Call of Duty, or, or other games like nowadays, you never had that many douchebags, assholes, or anything, it was always people being friendly, uh, if you, if you, it was like a 1v4, and you killed two or three of the, uh, guys in the team, even one, and you gave a good effort, and you died, they would say, "Good, good, good try, man. Good, you know that was good effort, uh, good shit, or something like that." If you pulled it off, they would have gave you even better compliments. But uh, they always supported you. They always tried. You know, they, it, it was like a team. It was like being on a basketball team or something like that. Basketball make mistakes. Like, don't worry about it, man. It was sweet. You know, get him next player. Something like that. It, it was just so such a great time for video games. And nowadays, video games are just copy and paste. Make it like Call of Duty. They don't want to... Everything... It, it, Call of Duty, how it is now, has ruined all video games. I cannot honestly say I love any video games right now. I play Call of Duty a lot. Don't know why. Probably because all my friends play it and because... Cause, I don't know. I feel like I'm obligated to play it. But I can honestly say there's no game I'm looking forward to buying or looking forward to play or anything. This game, I would, oh, I would get so excited to get in the game, and I, I would just fucking be like, yes, I'm on, like, oh, let's fucking play a game, let's play a match. Uh, this game is just great, and I can't even explain, I really can't explain what it was like. But, alright, now I'm gonna wrap it all up. So, come 1, 2, 3, and Combined Assault Series are going down on August 31st. Yeah, and, it has, and it's not Zipper's call, it's Sony's, obviously. Zipper's gone. Maybe that's why Zipper can't Maybe Zipper was funding it before, and now they're not, and Sony doesn't want to keep funding it, so I don't know. But, it sucks. So, I'm expecting the real SOCOM, the real, the re sorry, what the hell is SOCOM? The real SOCOM is gonna, you know, set up SOCOM community, community nights on these games. Uh, right now, I only currently have two, but I might go out and buy SOCOM 1, 2, and 3, and combine Assault, just, just to have, uh, those community nights. And have those final memories of me playing the game with people that are passionate about the game just as I am. And it would be great. Um, this game will forever be my favorite game. And, and if I never do get to play a remake of it or uh, just a copy and paste onto the PSN uh, online portion ever again. If I really can't ever play this game online again, I gotta make the best of it. I gotta make the best of these next couple months where I'll be able to play my favorite game. I mean, if I if I can't if I if I don't try to play this game as much as I can before August 31st, then I do not truly love this fucking game. And I'm gonna play the shit out of it as much as I can. Uh, when summer comes, I'm ex I'm gonna expect more gameplay if I can, cause it, I I'm playing this game. I mean, I am gonna see if I can get my old clan on there, cause no, apparently only one person actually I, I could actually count on getting on there, maybe two, but. It's just shocking, and it it this should never happen, and and it really is also the cheaters' fault. You would you would still have ten, maybe ten thousand, maybe five thousand people on, probably five thousand people still playing the game with cheaters, and and you know I, I say there's like a twenty five, you know, I say there's a forty five percent chance that somehow they're gonna put this game. No, restart. All right, that's just far fetched. There's no more, there's no more zipper. So I say there's like a 20% chance this game's gonna be be coming back somehow in some kind of form later on, and I say there's a 50 50% maybe 55% chance of another SOCOM coming out, possibly maybe by Silent Six because you all know there's been they've been giving some more attention to the series. But hey, with the wait and see, this is the end of the commentary. So uh, I'm out. Peace. Subscribe. Like. 
comment, do whatever you gotta do to make my day more, more enjoyable. And I'm out. Peace. Terrorists win.